D. Big D. Den of Stores, the legend of Mario D'Angelo. Roson Sea is a very popular tourist attraction and enjoys a thriving community based heavily on souvenir shops, takeaway food outlets and independent shops. One of these independent shops is run by a Canadian-born Mario D'Angelo. He's owned and operated this shop since he moved to Wales 15 years ago. He's been the owner and proprietor of Din Stores, a small local shop just located by College Sandrisso. Ever since moving to Wales, Mario's dinner stores has been a vital part of the community and has provided a much needed source of convenient shopping and customer service that everyone has missed out on, mainly because of the more commercial chains which aren't as customer friendly. Dinner store sells high quality items and goods at cheaper prices than any other retailer nearby and has a bit more of a personal touch. Dinner Stores has the perfect location as it is located right by a college and provides budget goods for the students who don't want to pay premium prices. Fifteen years ago Mario moved from his home country of Canada. Today we are asking how Mario has kept his business prosperous and why he has moved to Wales. So Mario, why did you decide to move to Wales? Uh, I moved to Wales. It was a few years ago. I met my wife in Canada. Uh, she's from Wales. Uh, she's always been a bit homesick, she's been wanting to come home. Uh, we had the two children in Canada. After the second child, she became very homesick. Um, I visited Wales quite a few times over the years of our marriage. Uh, I've always liked Wales, I thought it was a really nice place to go. So I thought, yeah, we'll give it a go. Uh, we've come here and I'm having a really good time. I think we've moved into a really nice corner of Wales. It's very pretty here, really nice people. It's nice, I'm having a really good time, I'm loving it. It feels like I'm still on holiday actually. Been here for like 15 years and I can't believe it's just flown by, having a fantastic time, it's really nice. I really enjoy coming to Mario's because it offers a personal touch to the uh, way you shop. Unlike other commercial stores, it, it's, uh, it's cheaper as well. So yeah, Harris is really great. Why did you decide to open dinner stores in Rose? Well, as I was saying, when uh, we came over to Wales as a visit, business adventure type of thing, we are looking for a business that we thought that would be really good for a community. Something that had a lot of people from the community come into the shop for whatever reason. Um, well, the post office used to be in this shop. Um, so we thought, yeah, take on the post office. Uh, it needed a little bit of work at the time, and I thought it had uh, a lot of room for potential, and it did. Uh, so we took it, we took it over. Uh, we've increased sales for years and years and years. Uh, it just got busier and busier. We diversified to other types of businesses, and it's taken off and uh, done very well. I'm quite happy with it. So that's why we took on dinner stores. Just uh, we just thought it was really good, in a good location. Do you find it difficult to operate with competition in the area? Well, at first, as I was saying earlier on, at first we had a post office which brought people into us. Uh, and we found that it, it was a lot easier to operate that way because people were coming to you and they needed something, which was a service we provided. But unfortunately, two years ago, the uh, government decided to close down post offices and we were one of the 2,500 that they decided to close down. Uh, it was a bit of a setback for us and the community, a lot of people lost out, uh, but we thought, right, we're going to have to do something and, again, diversify, reinvent ourselves. Uh, we did, got into other services, said newspaper rounds, dry cleaning, home delivery, things like that. Uh, back to the question, is competition difficult? Uh, competition is actually necessary. It forces people to become a bit more creative, better business ideas, find better suppliers, uh, improve yourself. Uh, so I think business is good, uh, competition is good, and uh, hopefully we just keep going and uh, tip plot on. <laughs> Mario's a great guy, he really knows how to treat the customer properly. If there's one thing I love, it's having a nice conversation with him as I purchase my afternoon treats. Has the closure of the neighbouring sandwich bar affected your business? Right, um, the shop next to us had closed down 
a bit unfortunate to be honest. As I was saying earlier, competition is, or com yeah, competitive competition for businesses is actually a good thing. We spin off each other, brings in people from different walks of life for different reasons. Uh, so it was a bit of a shame that next door closed, but there's other competitions as well, other shops in the neighborhood. Uh, so what we tried to do is we tried to just, uh, again, uh, provide better services as I was really reading with the uh, paper rounds and the home delivery and dry cleaning services and hot, hot takeaway food. Try to capitalize on that, try to get more people to come inside. Um, and hopefully we can fill the void that the uh, shop next door to us has left us with and we can capitalize on that and uh, make a bit of money doing it. That's the name of the game, make money. Do you ever have problems with people in the community such as violence? Uh, good question. Uh, well, in today's society, unfortunately, uh, it's the sign of the times. These things happen. Uh, like everybody else, you always try to avoid a violent situation or a being bullied into a situation. Uh, but people do try it on. Don't really know why. It's something I really don't understand violence. But. Uh, in general, we're very lucky, considering we have a large college down the road. I'd say a large chunk of them are excellent, really, really good, quite helpful. Uh, we also have a mixed area with a lot of elderly people, and I think they're very aware of each other and uh, try to help each other out. I think it's good. As I was saying before, yeah, sometimes it happens. Uh, you just got to deal with it and go with the flow. Simple as that. In general, what type of products and services are your customers mostly interested in? Right, well I've got two types of uh, customers. I've got the students that want fast takeaway food, cold drinks, a uh, large variety, main brands, Coke and whatnot, pies, things like that. I've got a microwave oven so they can get hot food. I've got takeaway burgers that are again hot, held under steamer. So students like that type of thing. And I've got, as I was saying, the people that more or less live in this area, which are predominantly elderly. They like the uh, home service I provide with. Uh, I provide free home service, general groceries, whatnot, laundry facilities, newspapers, things like that. That's what they like. Uh, so that's basically what we're looking at. So I've got a pretty uh, diversified range. Uh, so it's interesting. It keeps me on my toes. That's what we're looking for. So Mario, what does the future hold for Dennis Stores? What we've done is we've applied for an half license and uh, we were successful in getting the license. So we'll be, we'll be selling alcohol in the very near future. Uh, that goes well. We're planning on perhaps doing a small extension so we can give a larger range of products and again services. So I think that would go well, alcohol. It's always a good seller. Uh, we've got a finger on the pulse for trying to get the national lottery. A uh, bit of a dice on that one there, they pick and choose who they want, but hopefully we provide the criteria that they're looking for and we can get that in as well. So, future looks bright. <laughs> the epic journey of Mario is truly an inspiration to us all. Big D. Big D.